what is happening guys welcome back to another video of myself so look as a lot of people might have known if they followed on socials i made my way down to bista village this week because some of our followers was telling us about a canada goose pop-up outlet a temporary one that's going to be in bista village for just a few weeks now i thought that was interesting for so i thought i'd make my way down there to go and check it out so literally hit up bista village got down there i took the train which i usually do because i just find in I just find driving down there is too stressful. One of the things that I do when I hit up Bista Village is when I get the train, I usually go straight over to the guest services and lounge section where I can just leave a lot of my stuff with them, like bags and stuff like that. And that just makes sure that I've got free hands for me to walk around Bista Village and just be, you know, kind of hands free and all good. So I made the short walk from the lounge section straight through to Bista Village, which is located at the train section and which starts me off at the start of Bista village now typically when I get down to Bista village I usually tend to go on the weekdays I don't usually go on the weekends because I just find that the weekends are quite busy and today it was somewhat quite busy but you know what it was fine it wasn't it wasn't much of a big deal one of the questions that our followers asked us was which stores do the made for Bista village um, outlet items only because there are some brands that will just make items just for Bista Village. Now it wouldn't be all of their brands, it would be some stuff that is coming from Mainline, some stuff that will be made specifically just for their outlet and a whole bunch of sales and stuff. So there's no store in Bista Village where everything is just outlet only. I even had a few people in the last video saying that the Stone Island stuff is more of the stuff that is just made for the outlet. And that is just simply not true, guys. Stone Island don't do that. All the stuff is made, the main line goes everywhere. They're, they're simply just using this as a way to clear stock. Stone Island are not purposely producing lower quality, quality stuff just for the outlet to sell it at outlet prices that that's not what they do but in saying that again there are some brands that do do that and i will point them out in this video so since i was in there i thought let me go and check out stone island which i did when i went in there <laughs> it was kind of cool because they kind of recognized who i am and they said after i'd done the video that tons of people went down there to do some shopping so i said that was all good um one thing that i would say is there's no more 50 percent sales so it's just back to the 30 percent off guys so I don't know if that's going to be a special offer for anyone. It definitely wasn't for me. So I didn't pick anything up from there. So after that, I was continuing it on my journey to find the Canada Goose outlet, which is apparently across from Paul Smith, which is further down towards the end of the outlet. Um, as I was walking through, I met one of our followers here, which was really good, there, which was nice. And we had a little catch up. I met quite a few followers that day, actually, at Bista Village, which, which was quite cool. So... Um, Again, someone else said that the Montclair stuff is, is also for Bista Village, which is not, it's mainline stuff. That's the general quality of the stuff now. You, you will be seeing some quality drops on some of the stuff. It doesn't mean that they're just making stuff for Bista Village. Um, North Face, I really like this top, although the color might not be for some people, but I quite liked it. And I think it was like 30, what was it? Yeah, 32 pound from 107. I thought that was a pretty good deal, but again, I'm not sure that everyone would like the color in that one. They also had quite a few puffer jackets, which was something like, I can't remember now, we'll see the price here. Were they like 50% off or something? So yeah, 310 down to 207, so what's that? That's just like, 30% off I think or 35% off something like that but look they had a jacket here which I think went down to is that 100 or 90, 99 78 so they had some good prices in here inside this um, inside this North Face and North Face is not one of those brands that do stuff just for the outlet so yeah back to that so Reese for example here there's a lot of stuff in there which is just for the outlet which for me was quite disappointing to see Gucci is another one that just do just outlet stuff. Um, personally, just for me, it's not really a brand that I rate, but I know a lot of people seem to love Gucci. Another thing that when I usually get to Bista Village, I always seem to feel hungry, but there's just not really any good places to eat, in my opinion, when you get to Bista Village. I trotted over to pret a pret -a and I was about to pick this up, and I was thinking, yeah, this looked quite good, but then I looked at the price, and it was like eight quid. Yeah, £8.40 for that. And I was thinking, do you know what? I'd rather wait and get back down to London and go and get a proper meal from a nice 
I don't know, like an a not overly expensive restaurant and just sit down in, in Pret and spend eight pounds. I, I thought it was too expensive. But anyway, that's me just rubbing it in on. Um, so yeah, head, head over to Burberry just to go and have a look and see what type of stuff in there. And I happened to meet a follower here again, which was really cool. So we had a little catch up and he was on the Facebook group. So big shout out to him. Um, yeah, he's, he's following us on the Instagram as well. So I'll, I'll stay connected with him. But um, yeah, so here it is, guys. Here is the Canada Goose outlet. There was a bit of a queue outside. It was quite busy. And it, the first time I went to Bista Village, I must have totally have missed it, but it's actually opposite the Paul Smith shop. Um, you can see a bit of a queue there. I was almost tempted not to queue up because I hate queuing, but I said, nah, the team really want to see this one. So I got to do some queuing up. So from what I can see from the outside already, I didn't see any Arctic tech fleece jacket so for example no Windham no Carson no Macmillan's but I was told by some followers that they were actually there maybe they just sold out and I did miss it it seemed to have a lot of the kind of poly outer shell down jackets like you can see some Croft and Gillets there and stuff like that to be honest with you the Croft and Gillets are really quite overpriced for what they are um, they're very expensive jackets for what they are I think the price points in them the RRP is, is actually really high. Um, inside the store, you can see the price here. I have a look at some labels. So I think these are 850, um, gone down to 615. And look, they've even boosted the price of these up to 1215 when they were only 850. Um, I'm sure even last year. So I don't know where they got their last minute 400 boost, but they're saying that it's 1025 and actually <laughs> it was 850 last year or the year before but that's gone down to 650 which is uh, 50 percent but when you think about it when it was 850 and now they're selling it for 650 they've really only knocked 200 off the price so you've got to be mindful with some of the pricing with canada goose i have noticed on some retailers they are still using the older price systems um, for example, at like 850, and some of the guys they're using the newer price systems of 125. That is a massive difference between RRP, and sometimes the discounts can look a little bit more than what they actually are when you try to play with the numbers, you know, when you play around with the numbers, etc. They had those, these are the only Arctic Tech material jackets that they had, which is the Freestyle, and that was 575 down to 345. I actually remember a time when I think these were like 250 or 275 at one time. Time, but of course that was a very long time ago um, lots of fleeces more time accessories they had these jumpers here that was was that 295 or 395 down to 250 uh, personally I did try some of their sweaters I tried some of their sweater tops I tried some of the, the pants and uh, I, I I thought for the price that they weren't personally worth worth it I actually were I actually got some sent to me by some brands and I ended up selling them because even for free, they, it just wasn't for me. I, I, I wasn't a fan of them personally. This is something that I would actually like. See that blanket right there, 265? That is something I would actually purchase. I really like those. Um, a whole set of fleeces there. Here you can see some Croft and Gillets. Those ones again went down to 345. So typically prices at the Canada Geese outlet were looking more around the kind of 30 to 40% mark. A lot of followers were saying that these were prices that they were about three, four years ago, which is true. It, it's not too far off um, pricing for not too long ago. This is the only Arctic Tech jacket that I saw. It's the Canada Goose Chili Whack, but from what I've heard from the followers, um, that, pop, that colorway doesn't seem to be very popular. So that was it. I left the Canada Goose, didn't get anything from there. Just literally went to go and see and check it out for the team. Um, you guys know that I'm not really spending money on designer clothing, but I love doing videos and making all this coverage for you, so I will continue to do that. But those are my own personal changes as of late. But um, Coach, as I said, is another brand that does the maze only for Bista. Um, I believe Prada is another brand that has a mix of made only for Bista. Just before we wrap up, I have to show you the price of these off-white pants. 1750 down to 1115 Absolutely crazy prices. But guys, that's the end of the Bista Video Village. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to stay tuned for some more up-and-coming videos. See you soon.